<laughs> oh, thanks. Are you shy here? <laughs> No questions? What kind of car? Are you related to... Am I related to certain other Wainwrights? Yes. <laughs> Loudon is my dad. Yeah. Way. Rufus is my brother. <laughs> what did you say? Sorry. Have you ever been on the Kayamo cruise? I have. I did. So I heard about that. Yeah, I was. I was on it one time. <laughs> Have you guys heard about that? That Kayama yeah, cruise where you, did you, you've been on it? Uh -huh. Where everyone gets on a boat and people play music and stuff? <laughs> it's really fun. My favorite part of it was that they had soft serve machines. <laughs> and I never realized the skill involved in doing a good soft serve. It's hard. It's harder than you think. I got pretty good at it though. Um, any other questions? There were some others. Where are you from? Where I'm from, New York City. I grew up in Manhattan. Doesn't sound like it, does it? I don't know what happened. Anybody else? What kind of car? Well, I had. Have you ever seen the show CSI Miami? You know the red haired guy with the sunglasses? I had his car for a while. It's a long story, like actually, it was his car, actually, a long time. Um, I never met him, but it's, it was a long story. I had that and I drove that really into the ground. And um, so I just got a new car. It's not new, it was a rental car. It's a Subaru. <laughs> and um, I, I actually, I, I, didn't, I didn't quite get, I, I own, you know, like a cup holder, and I'm working on owning the rest of it. <laughs> so bit by bit, I maybe own a cup holder and a half now. So that's exciting. Anybody else? What's my favorite song? Like in the world, just generally? That's a really hard question. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on that. Is anybody tonight here on a date? All of you? Wow. One big date. Dallas, man, who knew? I'm not on a date. You're on a double date, wow. How's it going so far? Um, twice as good. date-based song, which is why I was wondering. Um, and a couple years ago, I, I was had a brief stint as a nanny in, um, in, and I was in England, and I had a night off, and I did my first ever gig over there. And um, it was one of these things where he just didn't really know if anybody was going to actually come to the show. And this guy showed up, who was totally delightful and fun and funny, and in the interest of full disclosure, I should tell you that he was also performing, so he was required to be there. But I was still counting him as present. And uh, we had fun hanging out, and it was really fun. And then I went back to New York, and he lived there, and the calendar pages flipped by. And uh, about a year later, I went back over for a longer tour. At this point, I had left the nannying job, and I was opening for someone over there. We had a night off in London, and we met up for dinner, me and that guy, which is where the date comes in. And um, once again, totally delightful person. Everything was going pretty well. Um, we ended up spending the night together in the emergency room um, because his lung collapsed during dinner, which is the kind of thing that happens to me on dates. It's, uh, trying to stay home. So, anyway, we got to know each other really well, uh, as you do in that situation. And um, it was, you know, usually when your lung collapses, 
Um, it's, it's, you know, not a big, huge problem, but a weird thing went wrong, and then a second weird thing went wrong, and he ended up having to have, like, major surgery. And um, so, but don't worry, if usually it's a snap to fix, not to worry. Uh, and I had to call his parents in the middle of the night and be like, hi, uh, I don't know you or your son, but I'm in the hospital. So I think that's all you need to know about the song. Uh, except for that, it's called uh, A&E. They, they call the emergency room over there at Accident and Emergency A&E, so that's what that is. Mm -hmm. 